Hello again, students, and welcome to another lesson using www.sketchup.com free. Today's lesson and demonstration will be how to make a spiral tunnel slide for our imaginary playground. This is the most sophisticated model yet, so make sure you don't miss any steps. It's very critical you follow each of the algorithms that I show you super accurately. Without further ado, let's begin. So you find yourself on the SketchUp landing page. In the upper right corner, select the person icon, select My Apps. You might have to log in with your Google account. And then when you see My Products, you'll see View Included Applications. Click the drop-down menu and select SketchUp for Web or SketchUp for Web Premium. There's the blue logo. To begin this project, you create new simple template feet and inches. Go to the right where you see the information tab, model info, select format, decimals, precision, leave it as it is, and highlight and change the snap interval to 0.125. Hit the inner key to lock it in. Select the five foot eight lady with your cursor. Hit the delete key to get her out. Move to the right again where you see the scenes tab. It looks like a movie clipboard. And then you'll see these two cubes. You wanna select the bottom one where you see parallel projection and actually, I'm going to go top view. You can grab the pan tool and sort of centralize oops, centralize your origin. Because in the beginning, you're going to draw a rectangle starting from the origin and then down. Click once, down and to the left. And then you're going to type in 36, comma, 22, enter. The next step will be to create another circle off to the side, and you're gonna to wanna to create that circle with a 22 inch radius, 22 radius, enter. And then draw a line from the edge circumference to the center. So click, drag, find the center point when it says center. You can click again and then use the select key to deselect. So I'm gonna use the orbit tool because what I wanna do now is draw another measuring line up my blue axis so that I can position the circle above the rectangle but on a different plane. So I'm gonna use the line tool, select the origin, pull straight up this blue axis, and then type in 12, one, two, enter. And there I've drawn a 12 inch segment on that blue axis. So now I'm going to select my entire circle using the marquee tool and then use the move tool. And I'm using, I'm viewing it at an angle. So you're going to select the endpoint, which is the center and drag it until it touches to the endpoint of your segment that's on the blue axis and then click and release. Look at it from top view to make sure that the edge of your circle is flush up with the edge of this rectangle. So now I'm going to create a special arc and I'm going to rotate my axis so that the red axis is more like the Z axis was just away from me towards and away from me because I want to use the second arc tool click and I want to click the corner of this box and connect it to the edge of that circle. And I want to make sure that once I make that arc, from there to there, see two endpoints, click. I want to see that term on the red axis. So I'm looking to adjust this. When I see the pop-up that says on red axis, like so, then I can click. Let's look at it again. So that's what you're looking for. Okay, now you can put it in. Um, you can leave it in this angled view. I'm going to turn it a little bit and I'm going to use my pencil tool to draw a line segment from this. See how each of the circles is made with a bunch of line segments. So you want to move your pencil to the next end of the line segment away from this initial attachment here and just select and move your pen pencil straight up and then probably type in a number like um, 3.5. 
3.5 length and then hit enter and then draw another segment straight from that endpoint down to where that line segment arc attaches. And that's done well. So now the next step is to delete this line segment. So I select it and hit the delete key to remove it and then select it. And then next I use the rotate tool. So I move over here to the move tool and then on next one down is the rotate tool select. And when you see the blue protractor, you know, you have to select that central blue axis, click once, pull your cursor over to that line segment, just to the right of your selected line segment, click and release, press the control key and release it. You're good to go. Then you move your line segment to the right until the bottom endpoint snaps and then you click again. Don't do anything else. Hit X23, enter. And it copies 23 more segments all the way around that circle. Okay, well done there. Now you're gonna have to look at it from right view because the next step is to select all those line segments. So you wanna go to the select tool. You wanna have it far enough away that you can see all those line segments on your screen and you want to drag a marquee around those line segments and only the top of the line segments from right to left. When you're selecting, you're going to see, if you go from right to left, you'll see a dashed line. And for whatever reason, if you release here, it selects all those line segments and nothing else. Okay. So now I'm going to orbit a bit. Now I'm going to use a trick I, I showed you during class, which is, to select the move tool here, hold down the control key, click and grab the end point right there where it touches my first arc. So I'm gonna click and drag straight up and then click. And then immediately hit X30 